Hey, it's Mano Marks from Docker. You probably know that the Microsoft.NET framework is now open source. And also that in November, they released the first release candidate of .NET Core CLR, which it runs on Linux. Now, as of today, they released the second release candidate, and also they released a new version of Visual Studio tools for Docker. These together create a really interesting development environment, which gives you some of the traditional tools that you're used to from an IDE. Let's take a look. Okay, so here I've got Visual Studio Community, the free version, with Visual Studio tools for Docker. I'm going to create a new project, select .NET Core Web App. Okay, now that the app is ready, I'm going to add Docker support. You see now that the debug tool shows Docker as the build target, and it also added in some Docker properties and Docker Compose files that it'll use to build the containers. There's a separate one for debug and production. Now, if we take a look back at the Docker properties, you see that we have it set to use the default machine. If you've got Docker machine running, you could choose any of the machines that are currently running, or if you delete the machine name, it'll work with the beta Docker for Windows. All right, I'm going to run it and show you what happens. Okay, so it still takes a little bit of time to run, but it all comes together pretty well. You see it launches a browser with the site on it. So far, interesting and cool, I have RC2 running in a container. That's, that's pretty nice. But here's where Visual Studio Tools for Docker makes it really interesting. There's actually breakpoint debugging. I'm going to switch over to a slightly different app, put it in the breakpoint on uh, the About page, run the, de the debugger, and the page comes up. Switch over to the About page, and there, that triggers the breakpoint. Yep, the app is running in a container, and it has a breakpoint in it. That's pretty cool. You see I can hover over the variable and see its value, hit Continue, and it launches the page. Pretty awesome. Currently, breakpoint debugging only works with the .NET Core CLR RC2 but they're adding more language support as they go along, so it'll be available for all your apps that you're developing in Visual Studio. If you want more information, check out the links in the description below for the .NET Core CLR, RC2, the Visual Studio tools, and also, as always, docs.docker.com.